National Security Minister Dr. Horace Chang has been touring schools in his constituency to assess and celebrate recent improvements. One of the primary schools severely impacted by Hurricane Beryl reopened with several upgrades, while another has seen a surprising boost in student enrollment. Raheem White reports. Monday, Security Minister Dr. Horace Chang visited several schools in his constituency to witness firsthand the progress and improvements made in the aftermath of Hurricane Beryl. His journey led him to the Chetwood Memorial Primary School that was severely damaged by the storm. The principal's excitement hinged on the fact that not only did they reopen school, but they now have a proper roof and additional resources. God is the God of Chetwood. This school has been doing extremely well academically. So therefore, the school is in this constituency. We have been producing and doing well with our children. So we had severe damage to our roof in hurricane burial. And so we were in the tier, tier one of the ministry priority listing of schools, thank heavens. He came to check if all the work was done. The work is done, the children are seated, and we are ready for teaching and learning. The minister highlighted the progress following the devastating impact of Hurricane Beryl. He also notes that the school has undergone substantial renovations and improvements. All three have opened and opened with seamlessly. In fact, quite impressed with the order and activity in all three schools, which is Glendevon Primary and Infant, Flanka Primary and Infant, where we currently are, and up for the Chetwood Primary School. Um, Chetwood was the primary one that had some challenge from burial. They lost their roof, but was completely retrofitted. In fact, the school, and uh, they were ready for opening this morning. All the parents and teachers were present and uh, working together in good order. Meanwhile, over at Flankers Primary School, traditionally plagued with low student attendance, the school now boasts an increase in enrollment. In the case of Flanker, they are now at full capacity coming from almost half capacity a few years ago when there was a um, challenge in the administrative school. The new principal and chairman have worked together and we now have Flanker at full capacity looking in fact for more space because they're doing some very innovative things. They have specialized room for mathematics, computer, and music, which you know, is one of my pet subjects for the schools. The first time I attempted it, it was not carried out, but they all work on that now, and the school is doing very well. Meanwhile, Chairman Wallace says the development is a testament of the ongoing efforts to enhance educational facilities and address local needs. He reasons, as the school continues to recover and improve, the focus remains on providing a safe and enriching environment for all students. We, we have a community that is also supportive of the, supportive of the school. When um, about two years ago, most of the students in this community were going into Montego Bay because the confidence in the school was low. It has come back, as you would have seen, the double, doubling of the school. We will ensure that we maintain this, this school in a, the physical plant. We have the community support. The MBJ has just given us um, 30 million to build some classroom. We'll be going to other government agencies as well. JC has promised to do some things. We will have received those. And we will be building out to ensure that we have the capacity for our children to continue the teaching and learning process. Raheem White. CVM News.